Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 867, finding solace. I'll talk about this a lot this year, uh, an election year in the U.S. There's a lot of turmoil out there. There's a lot of negativity and you're bombarded constantly by negativity. Well, turbulence and turmoil are all around us. Something as simple as an astronomical event, the eclipse, that was cool. People uh, watched it, people saw it, people drove to see it, but uh, it was a simple event. Uh, people adding apocalyptic overtones and undertones and, oh my God, there was an earthquake. Yeah, there's like a gazillion earthquakes a year. Uh, this is uh, the world, it's shifting. There's, uh, you don't ascribe things if they don't have to be. Just enjoy life as it is, but you're bombarded by this stuff. So turbulence and turmoil. Now you've got to find your own place of solace. That's your place of recovery. That's your place of rejuvenation. And that is, for me up here, it's living in the middle of Alaska, it's easy. I just stay in my house. I go take Stanley for a walk. But <clears throat> a lot of people don't have that opportunity. They live in a neighborhood. They live in a city. And uh, there's no escape from everything that uh, comes in around them. The sound of cars, the sound of sirens, honking horns. Uh, barking dogs. Uh, we have barking dogs here, of course, because this is Alaska and everybody has dogs. But, so dogs, dogs are solace. You should have a dog. <clears throat> Seek and you shall find. It could be your kitchen. I remember uh, last time I ran one of these, I, I sent a person uh, noise canceling headphones because they were in a small uh, apartment and couldn't really escape any noise. So noise canceling headphones. You can get the time. But can you shut the outside world out? What can you do to find your solace? Escape into your mind. Uh, the stories that you write, those are escapes. That's a place to go to when everything else is wearing you down. So your mind is the greatest place. Maybe it's a coffee shop. Coffee shop, once again, with those sound-canceling headphones, noise-canceling headphones, because it's all noise until it's gone. And then it's silence the sound of silence, writing with a calm mind. It's hard to write if you're constantly bombarded with this negative stuff. It sneaks into your writing and you'll look back later and you'll say, geez, this is kind of dark, kind of deep, kind of not how I want it to be. <coughs> then you're not writing from that place of solace. You're not writing from that place of pure thought <coughs> in the world that you've created with the characters that you want them to act a certain way not act like they've been beaten by uh, 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 bull whips before going into a scene. You don't want that. You want the characters to do what you want them to do and not what other people are bombarding you and it kind of creeps into your writing. Take control of your writing. Take control of your, your, your uh, search for solace. Search for a place where you can write unimpeded and even if it's only five minutes at a pop, Embrace those five minutes and make the most of them. <clears throat> in between crying children and barking dogs and sirens on the street, find that place and get the most from it. And don't lament the fact that you only have five minutes. Embrace, embrace the fact that you have five minutes and you can do an awful lot with those because that might be 200, 250 words. You'll, may, you'll be amazed at how fast you can type when the words are flowing, when you're in the zone with your story. So embrace those five minutes, even if it gets knocked down to three, do the best you can, and then look for that next opportunity to uh, work from a position of solace. Hopefully that helps. Control, take control of what is in your control, and don't lament what isn't. Just deal with it, and then get back to what's in your control. Peace, fellow humans.